Hey guys, and welcome to the video. We're going to be discussing that Shell, the oil company, seem to be targeting kids for advertising or some type of political message in Fortnite, the popular battle royale game. So let's dive into this game and news. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and stay up to date with all the gaming news we have going on around here, guys. So guys, we're going to take a look at this article here. It comes from Kotaku. Uh, Big oils using Fortnite, TikTok, and Twitch in an effort to convince kids fossil fuels are cool. Shell knows young people are worried about climate change and hopes some Fortnite maps will change that. So yeah, guys, this is kind of a um, bit of a strange one for me. I don't usually talk about this kind of stuff. Obviously, we're more of a movie channel than than this kind of uh, political kind of channel. But um, this definitely caught my attention. You know, it moves into the gaming sphere, so I wanted to talk about it. And um, yeah, it's very, very strange that, you know, these big oil companies seem to be targeting kids in sort of a political message to do with um, climate change. So I thought, you know, it could be an interesting read. So let's dive into it, guys, and see what the article has to say. So, kids today only care about online free-to-play shooter Fortnite. They don't even talk about how great gasoline is. <laughs> Lucky for us, one large oil company wants to change that using Fortnite, TikTok stars, and Twitch streamers. Welcome to hell. Yeah, guys, so um, it looks like they're targeting TikTok and Twitch as well, but this uh, video is because we're covering gaming news, it's going to predominantly focus on the Fortnite aspect of this article. Climate change is bad. I think we can all agree on that. But for kids who have long lives and futures ahead of them, the prospect of the planet turning into a nightmare sphere of extreme weather and chaos is particularly scary. But don't worry about all of that, kids. Instead, Shell, a massive oil company, one of the many entities directly responsible for destroying our planet, wants you all to know how rad fossil fuel products are and even made a whole Fortnite world for you to enjoy. But to truly enjoy it, you need to use Shell's V-Power Nitro Premium Gasoline, of course. So, as reported by Media Matters earlier this week, Shell has partnered with map creators to develop Shell Ultimate Road Trips, a Fortnite world featuring six different areas to explore in your car of choice. In the middle of these worlds, players will find a lonely, sad-looking Shell gas station acting as a map's hub. The campaign part of Shell's pivot back to focusing on gasoline over cleaner energy sources is designed to promote the company's new and improved premium gasoline. The idea is that in the map, players will need to occasionally fill up the central Shell gas station and use its new V-Power Nitro Plus fuel to successfully navigate obstacles and courses. So content creators are being enlisted to create big oil propaganda. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the things at the forefront of obviously our political sphere in the last, you know, in recent years. Um, with all these protests and debates and things going on around the world, you know, obviously about climate change, about our weather becoming more and more radical. And um, it looks like the oil companies are trying to stay in the game. Obviously, they make billions and billions of dollars every single year. As we make the move towards cleaner energy, obviously, the reliance on oil is going to become less and less. Their profits are going to take a hit. So it looks like this is going to be part of their scheme to try and keep promoting their kind of oil in their company. Um, obviously, they don't want to lose any money. But targeting children, you know, in Fortnite kind of seems a bit shady to me. Um, but let's keep reading, guys, and see what else we can see what it has to say. So to help promote this terrible collaboration, Shell has enlisted various TikTok creators and Twitch streamers in an effort to connect with large audiences made up of mostly younger individuals. So Media Matters uh, reportedly identified at least a half a dozen streamers, including folks like uh, Punisher, Nate Hill, Chica, and Bro Brookyab. Guys, I don't know any of these. I'm not a TikTok user. <laughs> so um, Brook Brookyab, I think that's how you say it, with a combined Twitch following of over 5.5 million subscribers who helped promote Shell's Fortnite map and fossil fuel products during sponsored streams that racked up over a million views. Some of these creators also promoted the sponsored streams on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to their millions of followers. Media Matter also identified three content creators who advertised Shell X Fortnite map in several videos posted on the gas company's official YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram accounts. And it looks like we have, yeah, so Ghost uh, Who, all road trips start with at Shell stations, us, and you can journey across six of the most beautiful terrains to experience Shell Ultimate Road Trips. Fuel up with Shell V-Power Nitro, v Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and hit the road to experience the all Shell Island and Fortnite map has to um, has to offer. Sorry guys, it's coming up with a pop-up then. 
And it looks like there's some sort of map code here that you can unlock something or other. I'm not really sure. I'm not a Fortnite player, so this doesn't really apply to me. But I found it interesting nonetheless. I mean, a big oil company sort of promoting, you know, promoting fossil fuels within a game. That's kind of, um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, really. Um, especially, obviously, when the demographic is younger kids as well. So the creator is directly promoting Shell's gasoline propaganda. I've combined audience of 8.5 million TikTok followers. 1.5 million Instagram followers and over 11 million YouTube subscribers. In August, Shell even paid out for a sponsored post on IGN, as well as a three-part series featuring IGN staff playing Fortnite and exploring the Shell-sponsored map. The videos are covered in Shell logos and feature a fancy IGN-hosted website dedicated to the oil company's Fortnite map. So yeah, it looks like they're definitely going all in. You know, they're getting all of these um, social media influencers oh man i hate i hate that word influencer i hate i hate the word influencer um but yeah so they're paying yeah the social media people um you know they're running it on ign obviously ign is probably one of the say what you want about ign it's probably one of the biggest gaming platforms you know online um you know media outlets that people go to so that's going to get a lot of coverage and it seems like they're going all in and promoting this shell island within fortnite so, drop in this season and complete the objective. Uh, do uh, irreparable damage to the environment with Shell is <laughs> the top rated comment on this trailer for the map. Yeah, guys, so on YouTube, you can look at the Shell. Um, they've got a video, obviously, um, advertising what's going on with this Shell Island. And someone just dropped the comment, drop in this season, complete the objective and do irreparable damage to the environment with Shell. <laughs> and that's quite funny. That's quite a funny comment. This is all part of an ongoing campaign by big oil companies like Shell. To connect with younger people via online influence oh man that word influence just makes me cringe it's just like oh uh, i don't know why guys i'm really sorry <laughs> content creators content creators probably a better word uh, in 2021 um earth reported that shell and philip 66 had started campaigns with instagram um content creators i'm not gonna say that word these sponsored deals and ads aren't just about promoting oil companies and their products these large corporations know that as climate change gets worse it's getting harder to convince young people to keep buying gas-powered cars and supporting the fossil fuel industry. Yeah, that's what I was saying at the beginning, guys. So, like, I I'll just go back to the point. So, you know, as time goes on, um, you know, climate change seems to be getting worse. Um, obviously, all governments around the world, they're kind of, you know, forcing people to move away from the fossil fuel industry. And as we move, you know, more and more towards green, um, you know, green fuels and um, renewable energy, obviously, that's going to... Um, translate into these big oil companies getting a massive hit to their bottom line their financial bottom line so they're really trying to do what they can to you know hook their claws into the younger generation to convince them to keep using fossil fuels and um whether you see that as a bad thing you know them targeting younger people is it a smart thing is it a bad thing you know should it be banned i don't really know i don't really know it's a very gray gray line as to what you know what's morally correct and not correct um depends what side of the argument you fall on really as Media Matter points out, a 2021 survey of young people between the ages of 16 and 25, about 75%, said the future is frightening because of the climate change. It's hard to sell gasoline and diesel to teens who know it's destroying the planet and their futures. And it doesn't look like some Instagram models and Fortnite videos on IGN promoting Shell are going to be enough to change their mind. Yeah, so even though they're targeting younger people, you know, through this kind of method of, you know, um, content creators and... Um, you know on fortnite obviously it's not going to have a huge impact it's not gonna you know it's not going to turn everyone back to fossil fuels it's not going to you know make everyone hate green um but it's a start and it's something that we can see the oil companies beginning to do and if they're going to target fortnite you know what other games are they going to start targeting you know um so we'll have to keep an eye out when the latest games come out we'll have to keep our eye out and see if like these big oil company logos start popping up in other games maybe they'll do it in a subtle way where people won't you know it'll be like a subliminal kind of thing but anyway guys let's go on and read some of the comments on this article and just see what some of the community are saying about it it's always interesting to read what people's comments are so maybe i'm just having a bad day but this just strikes me as sick af um f shell ign and those streamers and i'm glad that people are pushing back this is what happens when oil companies have billions to burn on lame attempts to improve their images but not improving the environment you should definitely be pissed at all the involvement of blatantly obvious self-serving propaganda being licked up by IGN and influencers. It's indeed sick AF when corporate image is valued over actual liv livable planet. Yeah, but this is the thing, guys. Um, you know, people, a lot of people um, are selfish. Let You know, let's be honest about it. And all people care about is money, financial incentive. 
um, you know, when the financial um, incentive is there to make money, anything else is just goes, you know, goes to the background, whether it's, you know, environmental sustainability, um, whether it's about looking after the planet, you know, people would rather make a quick buck and if the planet gets destroyed, so what? They're not going to be around, you know, when the planet's destroyed. They don't care as long as they're making money here and now. Like, that's what most people care about. Um, I'll admit that stupid streamer with the goofy expression does not uh, do them any favors. I don't know him. I've never heard of him. But that pick alone makes me hate him as much as Paul Gosser. I don't know who that is, guys. Seriously, just turn uh, some of the marketing spend into supporting green tech to, do, to uh, diversify your portfolio and provide yourself somewhat legitimate cover against critics instead of incredibly lame attempts to make gas cool. I love how they are trying to be cool with the kids when they have the tag um, shell stations on us. Uh, shell station US was probably their intention, but the kids will read it differently. The shell manager who came up with the line probably like, <laughs> how do you do fellow kids? <laughs> They're trying to act cool. Obviously, Fortnite is probably, would I dare say, the biggest game in the world possibly apart from gta 5 maybe um yeah and i mean getting their marketing into that that game um yeah to make money uh to get their message across is a smart move but obviously it's bad for the planet isn't it so one of the first things we learned in graphic design class was that they used penisland.com as an example heck i'm old and read it as shell stations so uh, shell station sus <laughs> okay i can't imagine penn island was not deliberate um this totally this halfway through reading this article i could almost guarantee mr busiemi um would appear in the comments <laughs> hey kids you're absolutely effed because we just want to uh, refuse to pivot our business away from fossil fuels but at least you can floss in fortnite the soulless uh this word at shell okay uh tim sweeney allowing propaganda geared towards children I would have never expected this from the man who misunderstood 1984 and shoved that in people's faces while pretending he was some kind of champion of consumer rights. Okay, we'll read a couple more, guys. Um, this is campaign is part of Shell's uh, pivot back to focus on gasoline and clean it. Already hated this based on the headline, and this just makes it even worse. Yeah, but the whole pivot back thing would imply they stopped focusing on gasoline at some point. They never That never happened. Yeah, obviously not. They're a gasoline company. Of course, you know, that's their main focus. Um, the most they did was spend a tiny amount on examining how they could capture and control renewables uh, in the same way they currently do with fossil fuel. The answer was clearly no, so they're shoring up efforts protecting their fossil fuel investments, including their long-standing disinformation efforts. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're a company who makes billions of dollars every year. You don't want to take a hit to any of that financial bottom, you know, bottom line, and you're going to do what you can. You're going to start spreading the message, start pre spreading propaganda, because you don't want your bottom line to be affected. And they, they're probably sat in there, you know, they're probably sat with their accountants thinking, shit, you know, everyone's going to move to renew renewables. We're going to start losing loads of money. What are we going to do? Okay, we need to start pushing out propaganda. We need to start targeting the younger generation because they're going to be the ones who are going to go on to the greener energy. Um, so we need to start changing their mindsets to come back to um, fossil fuels. That's, at least that's the way I see it. Anyway, guys, yeah, I thought this um, article would be just an interesting read. Um, it definitely, you know, struck me by surprise when I came across it. Um, what do you think about big oil, you know, using Fortnite, TikTok and Twitch to basically... Um, to basically prop it, like to aim their advertising towards the younger generation. Do you think it's morally bankrupt? Do you think that it's a smart idea? Um, I'd love to know what your thoughts are about it, guys. Yes, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon.